Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophinet the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to Sekiro. We're uh, still at the dilapidated temple, and I think I promised last time that we were going to use that bell on the Buddha statue. We read about it before, and now we're going to actually do something with this. And I'm wondering... Yeah, that's actually a cinematic. So, well, Wolf, what are we going to do here? Close your eyes. Hear the bell speak to you. Okay. Here we go. Yep. The bell's chime will stir your thoughts. And awaken old memories from their slumber. Interesting. So we might actually get to learn about Wolf's history a bit more. Oh, these are actually levels. And do we get to keep the items in the levels? It does appear so. Let's commune with that. Sculptor's idol found. And we're still saving up for two skill points to get that Miriku counter. Hirata Estate. Well, seems like it's on fire and seems like this is not just a small level. Um, okay. Do I have my... Yeah, I do have the prosthetic. So it's not like this is a... A minor memory. Now... What do we... Oh. Aha. Uh -huh. Let's go down. And do that. That is still terrifying. I know there's no fall damage, but still if I go off a cliff, I'm actually dead as well. So dropping down. And doing that. And there's at least... Yeah, there's an, uh, an enemy over there as well. That guy that's sitting there is definitely alive. We don't know if there's anybody in this pass either. So let's just go into stealth. And just crouch down. Ah, I can talk to this guy. Great. Let's pick that up. Another fistful of ash. Let's talk to this guy. You're the son of... Owl. Um, ask what year it is. What year is it? What year? An odd question. Tell me. It's the year of the Dragon Spring Pilgrimage. The Dragon Spring Pilgrimage? That was three years ago. What is this? What? The sculptor mentioned an old memory. Indeed. I don't remember any of this. But it appears this is the past. Maybe it's not your memory, Wolf. What happened? Uh, thieves at Hirata Estate. You must hurry. The divine error. <laughs> and there he goes. You are the son of Owl, he said. But, I mean, we're not, right? We've never been called by that name, and since Wolf doesn't remember any of this, I'm starting to think that this is not our memory, because we got the bell from that old lady. So, I'm guessing this is not our memory, and we're just experiencing another part of the history. That guy over there is gonna get stabbed. Ooh! There we go. Wasn't as smooth as I thought it was going to be, because he just turned around right before I hit him. But uh, that was something at least. And then... Dowsing Powder, medicine for treating burns. Heals the burn status abnormality, and for a time decreases burn buildup, increases burn resistance, and reduces damage from incoming burn attacks. When fire is used on the battlefield, Dowsing Powder is crucial for survival. Seems like I should maybe even equip that. So now I have... Pallets, the gourd, the ceramic shards, and dowsing powder. I'm just gonna keep the gourd equipped. 
Open this up. Oh god, there's another guy. Okay, never mind. And there we go. Blocked his trusts. So that was a death blow attack even. Um, got something out of that. Oil. Plain oil. When the jar breaks, the oil covers everything nearby. Enemies douse in oil are easily set alight. And causing them to take additional vitality damage from fire attacks. And making them more vulnerable to the burn status abnormality. It's a weird way of... Calling a... Burn state is an abnormality, but moving on. So I'm wondering if there are. Ooh! Wolf! Oh, Jesus Christ! Come on, Wolf! Come on, Wolf! Kill the Wolf! There we go, that's one. Now this guy. God damn it. There we go. Okay, I was stumbling around with that one a bit. Oh god. Where the wolf? That's one. And there we go, there's the other one. Fair enough, I just scratch down again, seems like I'm safe for now. Okay, wolves are annoying, but I think they should be a priority since they're so quickly and can stagger me easily. Just looking around here a bit. I think he lost interest in me. And I can't get up here the normal way. So there are items in the water there as well, but I'm not sure if I can actually go into the water. We got one of those before. Can we swim? <laughs> well, you know what? I don't have too much to waste, so I think I'm going to try and see if I can actually swim. Here we go. He can. He can, of course. A ninja can swim. Just going to have to be careful not to get eaten by fish. Just Okay. Okay. Pot Noble Harunaga. And that's probably one of those treasure carbs. And they've seen me. Bring me some scales next time. Oh, I can actually hit them with the shuriken, but they seem to be leaving after that. Okay. Good to know. So there are fish in the water that can actually... They probably function a bit like the Titanite lizards. And that's another coin purse. But I don't think... Can I actually... Another, another attempt. Can I actually attack while I'm in the water? Yeah, I can. Ah, uh, got one. There we go. Treasure Carp scale. A sparkling scale from a treasure carp. To the average person, it is just a beautiful scale. But there are some who exalt a certain master, who consider these scales among the most precious things in the world. For this reason, collecting them could be worthwhile. Okay, let's take a look at this, this guy's inventory. Divine Grass, a secret medicine that fully restores vitality and cures all status abnormalities. One small part of Ashina is exceedingly old. The ancient soil, rocks and water that pervaded the land are said to have attracted the attention of the gods. The Dr. Dogen studied the plants in this ancient place, resulting in the recipe for this special medicine. Then a withered red gourd. A curved withered red gourd filled with medicinal water, the gourd's medicine refills upon rest. Reduces burn buildup and slightly increases burn resistance, it cannot heal the burn status of normality, however. Then a mask fragment, a fragment of an old dancer's mask. The original must have been broken into several pieces and this fragment appears to be the right side of the mask. The floating passage text. Compendium on the combat art floating passage. Skill locked upon acquiring this item. Unleash attacks in a flowing dance-like form, overwhelming enemies in a furor of graceful aggression. This technique belongs to the Ashina Sword School, though it has been deemed heretical due to its foreign origin. So that's those are the four items I can buy with these 
items with these scales. So mostly you need to focus on the floating passage text and the mask fragment probably. It kind of reminds me of uh, Sparkly the Crow, but before we kill the carp over there in the water, I think I'm going to go up here and see if I can kill the guy in, with the, the torch. There we go. And there we go. So kill those guys rather quickly. Now I should be able to just drop down and kill the guy with the torch. Just need to be careful to stay in stealth because sometimes he actually drops out of it. There we go. Just quick enough to kill this guy. Okay. So that's that. Just gonna get the coins over there. There seems to be another sculptor's idol over there already. So high time to explore this place a bit. There we go. Got another carp. Treasure carp scale. Probably need to be careful to not to to not go out too far. Oh. Well. Um, this fella seems to be halfway across the bridge, in the wrong direction though, <laughs> going down. So there doesn't seem to be any more fishes, so I'm just gonna go across the roof here. And we have another Sculptor's Idol. So does that mean there are uh, enemies over there, but not right next to the gate probably. So let's just... Hmm, I'm wondering if I even need to do this. Ceramic chart. Hug the wall, hug the wall. Can actually kill somebody from across the wall? Did that do anything? No, it didn't. And stab! Oh, and that's an archer. Oh, that was in the back. Okay, so that's burning. That's definitely burning. Going around the corner. Just healing up. Does this guy not want to... And there we go. Kind of stumbling around a bit. It feels like I can't counter the trust as easily as I thought. But... By now I actually got enough... Why am I actually going for this guy? I'm going back, because... I don't need this. I don't need this. Just rest. Just rest. And rest. Rest. There we go. Okay. Let's see what we've got. So we have two skill points. So, if I want to have this Mikiri counter to dodge trusts, that would be cool. And it seems to be the only skill tree we have right now, right? And you can actually see what else we have here. Because uh, everything that's not highlighted, we can just check out. So the Mikiri counter, let's buy that. There we go. By stomping down on an enemy's attack. So we need to dodge the moment an enemy trust attacks land. Then the run and slide. And the sprint by sliding, which puts you in a crouched position. Or suppress presence, acquire the latent skill suppress presence. Reduces an enemy's ability to perceive those who are in stealth. That is very interesting. But again, two skill points. And then the rest we can't enhance. But the memory, it feels like we are in a memory, right? Uh, and the rest we can't really do anything with. So let's just go down. And see. So there's one guy with a torch here. There we go. They get hit a bit. But that's that. I think we can go across if we want to avoid those uh, those archers. So there we go. On the roof. I think we can go around to the side. There's a lot of enemies. There's a lot of enemies. Which kind of makes sense, of course. They're just burning down an estate here. The Hirata estate. That's a spirit emblem. Can actually use that. I think this opens up to the side or not. No, it doesn't seem to be. Slowly across. Can I actually eavesdrop on these guys? No, doesn't seem to be. So if I... Throw a ceramic over there. That doesn't seem to work. There we go. That guy down at least. Oh, 
Oh, there's another archer. There we go. Countered. And then let's just hurry up to the archer. And there we go. Stab him in the face. And back to stealth. So there's definitely more enemies over there. And I feel like the Fistful of Ash might actually be a better distraction item than what I've been using now. So let's just try that. I swapped out the ceramics for the Fistful of Ash. Because that's supposed to be a distraction item as well. Although there is another door here. It does not open from this side. So that might be a shortcut. Now the problem is... There's three enemies in there and I don't want to fight them all at once. So let's just head up that roof again. So there's at least one over there. Akko's Sugar. Sustaining Akko's Blessings. Boosts attack power for a time. Bite the canyon, take the Akko's Stance. Spirits and bolt these excess karma. One must bite down hard in the canyon to endure what... Okay, so that seems to be the same description. Oh, no, he saw me. He definitely saw me. There we go. That's one. Taken care of behind behind the shack. And there we go. This guy down as well. Now, the archer. Avoid the archer. Ow. Okay. He just fired two arrows in quick succession there. So if I now... Resurrect. I can... Backstab this guy rather easily. There we go. And kill that guy. But of course, now we're resurrected. I also look... I did look like a little bit white there for a second. I got more oil from those guys. I'm actually wondering if I actually got everything over here. I did. But now, I don't have a resurrect anymore. Which we need to take into account that if I want to run away, I should run away. And also gave me the hard lesson that I shouldn't shouldn't fight multiple enemies at once. Not for now, at least. So there seems to have been a lot of raiding here because there's blood on the doors. So these bandits must have killed pretty much everyone that was living here. But for now, at least, I don't see any items lying around. Unless I can actually go through some of these... Oh! Doors. There we go. There's an item. More pallets. And then we go across our next wall. And we get... A lot more enemies, of course. Including a few wolves. But I think I should probably focus the archers. Focus on the archers first. Oh, that was just in time. Wasn't kidding. I can feel my spirits lifting already. You ain't wrong. This estate always rubbed me the wrong way, but you gotta give it a good send off at least. So these guys, yeah, they're really. Ooh, that's like three guys. Need to be careful. Need to be careful. There we go. Got this guy. Then the wolf. Need to be careful with the wolf. There we go. And another wolf. So now I can go down again. I think I'm going to just take a pallet. Just get the healing going again. And get back to the healing gourd. Just want to see what I missed there. Because it sounded like there was someone here at least. There he is. There we go. Don't know why I didn't get a backstab opportunity there, but never mind. Killed the guy. I'm just going to get purposefully seen here. So he starts investigating me. There we go. Aerial attack. I think one of them actually saw me. So if it's only one... I'm actually fine. There we go. Then there's another one coming at me. Yeah. 
There we go. I actually need to go back a bit because my posture is uh, going down quickly. There we go. Take him down. Whew. Okay, I'm completely out of healing items. Is that guy, for some reason, I couldn't really parry him, so probably need to deal with that a bit differently. So now there's two more guys left, but I think if I just go here, I can take this guy out. And now the last guy. Come on, buddy. Oh, oop. I'm just gonna go the, the coward's way out. There we go. I am completely out of healing items. Should I push on? I feel like I should be close to something at least. Another balloon of wealth. And a pallet, okay. That's gonna at least get me a bit further. But I'm really, really on the edge here. I don't want to risk too much. Because um, I think I'm relying too much on the parry. That doesn't always work. There we go. Two pallets. So if I now drop down to anything lower than half, I should really take that into account. There's something in the fire here, even. Flame barrel. An iron barrel that spews fire. Ooh, can be fitted to the Shinobi prosthetic. It is difficult to control the rage-filled red eyes with the power of man alone. However, a fire-based weapon could be a means of resisting them. They are said to fear fire above else. Interesting. So we saw that in the loading screen as well. Apparently, red eye enemies are a thing as well in Sekiro. And they are weak to fire. There we go. So when that red icon appears, I think I should probably just use that Mikiri counter because I haven't successfully done that yet. And I'm getting closer to my next resurrection. But I don't think it will be fast enough. No. Let's talk to this guy. Worthless bastards. Hello. <coughs> you are a shinobi, if, if I'm not mistaken. Take the shinobi axe from... From the temple and split their skulls wide open. Please. The shinobi axe. You need to be careful here because it seems to be an enemy over there. Can I can't forget to actually do stuff like this. Hang from a ledge, then. Oh, if I move quickly around here. Should be able to go around and open up the door, right? Yeah, I'm at the wrong side of the door again. I think I'm going to quickly rest and then try and get across most of the rooftops to skip most of this. Because I don't want to risk dying now. So, skip most of the areas again, except this... Well, this large open area where we found the fire barrel. Uh, so, I'm going to have to be careful with the humongous amount of wolves here. And try to get around this again. There we go. I'm wondering if this is actually a, good, a valid tactic if I just do some guerrilla attacks. There we go on this guy. And then the wolves are right on time. There we go, two wolves down. Then the torch guy. And there we go. And I hear a wolf behind me, I think. Or it might be on the other side of the wall. Okay. 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 It didn't take too much vitality damage. Might as well just drop down on this guy's neck. And then this guy. Double stealth attack. They're not the brightest in the bunch. And we got our next skill point as well. So that is cool. That is A-OK. -okay. It goes without saying I probably should go on the roof. Now, if I'm slowly going over here. There we go. 
So there is a drop down attack. I just need to be right on target to do perform that. There's more enemies over there. Don't need to assume that if I killed one, I killed them all. Seems like this is actually the safer route. But if I open up the, that door now, there's going to be a lot of enemies on the other side. We're burning this temple next for? No, leave it. Go on to the next one. But if there's any offerings, we could give them to Lord Juzo. Enough! We don't take from Buddha. How many times do I have to tell you before it sinks into your thick skull? Please, don't get angry at me, boss. I'm sorry my score's so thick. Okay. Seems like a good point to attack these guys on. Doesn't seem to be any other enemies around them. So if I just drop down and kill them in one go. And there we go. Killed that guy. And then I need to be careful because he actually alerted one more guy over there. Now, they did want to go into this temple because they were afraid. But I'm not afraid, so let's open that up. And take whatever this is. Shinobi, axe of the monkey. There we go. A heavy black iron axe used by the shinobi. This boorish axe is used less for cutting and more for breaking things with its weight. Once a favorite weapon of a shinobi known as the Bounding Monk of the Sunken Valley, it was lost long ago with his left arm. The Bounding Monkey of the Sunken Valley. We also have a left arm, so we can we assume that that is his prosthetic arm then? The Bounding Monkey. Now we have this house. Doesn't seem to be anybody in here. So let's just pick up the coin purse and move forward. We haven't found a real use for coins just yet. Just gonna get the higher ground again and then open up this door. This door, which will get me a shortcut. Kogan Sugar reduces posture damage for a time. Okay. Meisen, Meisen monks are well versed in the art of killing shinobi and undertaking that demands a body with an unshakable core. Okay, the go the shinobi hunters. Let's open that up. No, don't, don't open it up too far. Because there's like, yeah, the multiple enemies behind there. Okay, thank you. Thank you, wolf, for being so careful. So next area, up to higher ground. More chickens. More chickens. Um, I could probably kill one of the chickens. Are the chickens bandits as well? These are important questions. There we go. I don't know where that chicken went. And there we go. Chicken kebab. More pellets for me. And I think there's a, one more chicken over there, yeah. I could probably just... Backstab that. There we go. Backstab a giant chicken. Oh god. There we go. Another chicken. And there we go. The shurikens make short work of the chickens. That is cool that if you just pay attention to the description, you can actually get the idea of what an item does rather quickly. So, for example, the axe is used to break things. So, probably to break shields, I would assume. Or, of course, an enemy's face. But I think... Usually in From Software games, items just do what they tell you that they do. And not something else, like the guns in Bloodborne don't really do much damage. So now, don't really know where to go now. I'm probably the other side of this uh, route. So there's this flower garden, this is nice. Why is this here? Oh, can you, oh we can talk to this guy. Hey, good sir. Are you a looter too? Uh, no. Good sir, you look like a shinobi, I think. Are you looking for something? Well, in any case, <laughs> I found this place first. Hmm? <laughs> so, keep your eyes peeled out there, huh? And, uh, you know, don't let the door hit you in the... Okay. Oh, by the way, while I was on my way here, I saw a three-story pagoda on top of some cliff. It was a fine pagoda. Really fine. I bet there's some kind of treasure kept in there. <laughs> Gotta be. That's what I think, at least. 
Okay, a three-story pagoda. And not, nothing else. He locked this up. And I can't seem to do anything here. Um, there's two ways I can go. I can go across that doorway into the bamboo forest. But... Hey, open up. Open up or else. I can hear you whispering in there. If you don't surrender peaceably now, you're going to regret it later. Hey, can you hear me? Hey! Peaceably. Because that was English. Is peaceably an English word? I don't actually know. Wouldn't think so. There we go. Let's take out the guy with the biggest weapon first. And then go for this guy. Nope. Shut up. Thought I counted that, but apparently not. That was still not a perfect dodge. Almost at my next resurrection, though. Uh, and I think I'm just gonna pop a few pallets. So I can gather up the next batch if I get any. Okay, so that's this guy's coming. So we just stay close. I can probably get the, the quite literal jump on him. There we go. And those guys have shields. So that's an issue. I'm gonna have to get that axe equipped. I lost way too much health on these guys already. There we go. One shield guy down. That was a quick swipe. And I lost both of my healing boards to those guys. So that axe is going to come in handy if I get to equip it once. Just wondering what else is here. Probably a lot more, because of course this is a big game. Uh, also, by the way, if I'm just going to take a little bit of uh, time to explain how I'm going to do these episodes, because of course this isn't your run-of-the-mill game. But uh, I'm going to try and do these longer episodes as the one you've been seeing here. So, uh... Got a bit of a, a feeling for the game. Countering trust attacks. Trust attacks cannot be blocked, but it can be deflected. The Bikiri counter skill also counters trust attacks, and performing it successfully will deal greater posture damage than a normal deflect. Ow. Ow. No, 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 no. Okay. Leaving. 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 And there we go. Okay. Just rested a bit, because otherwise this isn't going to... This is gonna end well. Uh, so, let's... I think I can actually travel, but acquire skills first. And I think if I want to be doing this, I should probably go for the suppressed presence skill first. So let's buy that. And then we get suppressed sound. Latent skill that suppresses movement noise by inhibiting an enemy's ability to hear it. Moving in silence is part of what defines a shinobi. And then vault over. A shinobi martial art that allows one to leap over and behind a posture broken enemy. This martial art technique allows the use of backstab dab blows in the middle of battle, even without using stealth. Cool. That sounds like something I want to have. So back at the sculptor, I'm just gonna so equip those back. two. Was that a dream, or was it real? Mm -hmm. Whether it was a dream or it was reality, I have no idea. There is one thing I can tell you. The great Buddha has seen fit to awaken old memories within you. What you felt, what you remembered, that is what it all depends upon. I'm not sure if what I saw is what truly happened. That's how it works. Okay. So let's present more prosthetics. So we have the loaded axe and the flame vent. There we go. The Shinobi Prosthetic. Appears you've taken to it quite well. Prosthetic Esoteric Texts. Written by a man who abandoned the path of the Shinobi but could not bring himself to discard his painstaking research. He never expected to pass these on to anyone else. So he abandoned the path of the Shinobi. So the sculptor was a Shinobi as well oh, then. What is it? It contains ways to bite into your foes with that fang of yours. In other words, Fighting techniques for your prosthetic arm. I see. I had thought that prosthetic techniques wouldn't ever be needed again. But it seems 
I was wrong. Well, people lose their arms occasionally. No matter what I do, any Buddha I carve is an incarnation of wrath. Thus is the fate of those who owe a deep karmic debt. You will understand when you try carving one for yourself one day. So, need something? Interesting. Oh, uh, I think I did that already, right? Okay, so we can cycle through them with triangle, but I need to equip them. So the loaded axe and the flame vent. So the flame vent uses up three spirit emblems, the loaded axe two, and the loaded shuriken one. So, loaded axe. Ooh, look at that. And then the flame vent. That is awesome. Oh, that switches? That's a bit bloodborne -y. So I'm gonna try this Mikiri counter against Hambe by stepping on the blades. Okay, so let's try that out with him. Nope. That's way later than that. Ah, there we go. Okay. So don't think I need to dodge in a direction. Because if I dodge in a direction, I do that. So if I just stand still and dodge, no. There we go. It's a bit later on that I need to dodge there. That is interesting. There we go. And it does a lot more posture damage than the normal one. Oh my god, that was awesome. So I just... I saw the training option to... Counter sweeping attacks. And you can actually kick somebody in it while you're in the air. And then do a counter attack from the air. And he kind of just... Takes his head between his legs and just sweeps him to the floor. That was awesome. Okay, and with that training we need to... I think we can push a bit further than we did before. So now, loaded axe. And there we go. And then loaded axe. And kill them immediately. Okay. That is awesome. That is awesome. I think if I move across these... I can easily kill the, the torch guy. But I want to kill most enemies before I fight that spear mini boss. So. There we go. That wasn't really stealthy, but hey. Then we go up there. Oh, Jesus. He saw me. He definitely saw me. I can go into the flowers to the side here and then probably get... A killing blow into this guy. Get back in. Open it. Ow, 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 Come on, healing gourd. Thank you. He's dead, right? Yeah, okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, there we go. Vitality down. And let's just get a healing gourd in there. Uh, not healing gourd, healing pallets. Because my gourd is out. And I still need to kill that guy. Probably can start that off with a stealth attack if I want to. Oh god, okay. There we go. Oh! Yeah, he got me good there. And he killed me. Shinobi Hunter. Um, he didn't get stealth attacked, so I'm gonna resurrect and just run away. Because I lost pretty much all my health there. I have one more pallet. But a pallet doesn't seem to do all that much. And it's gone. So I want to try this. I really want to try this, but... Oh, come on. Yeah, I'm dead. 
Couldn't even run away. I was just stuck on the ground. Jesus Christ. Okay. There goes half my gold. 748 gold. And I don't even know what, the, what I can do with gold just yet. So I actually never went in here as well. To this area to the right. Because they all kind of look the same. I don't think I did, right? I can eavesdrop on this conversation. <laughs> Try not to move. It'll make your wounds worse. No. I must go. There is a shinobi hunter among the bandits. He's highly skilled. If I don't face him... Oh. I forbid it. You are in no condition. Oh, that is interesting. So we're having a hard time with the shinobi hunter. Um, ah. I thought I would be able to talk to these people. But... Apparently these people don't like doors. Because there doesn't seem to be... A, a door. Um, are you okay? Doesn't seem like you could ever enter your own house. Maybe that's a door? I don't know. It doesn't feel like that's the, the door. Who are you? I'm not a thief. Uh, you're, you're the young lords. Oh, thank goodness. Honorable Shinobi. Those filthy bandits are after the young lord. They've already climbed the hill and set the estate on fire. It looked as if the young lord had no way to escape. I beg of you, Shinobi. Please rescue the young lord. I entrust this to you. The Antidote Powder. A powerful antidote concocted by the Sunken Valley clan. Heal status at Normality Poison. Mag magnetite deposits are found in the Sunken Valley, but the place is dangerously toxic. Antidote Powder is essential for anyone attempting to mine the ore. I pray it is of help. Thank you. Okay. Thank you indeed. Two bits of antidote powder. Now, what else is there to this? I can talk to these you, people as well. You're the young master Shinobi. Yes. What good are you? You were nowhere to be seen when things went south. Wait, tell me you didn't lead them here yourself. The timing of their attack was perfect. Normally those bandits wouldn't have stood a chance. Yes. Yes, it had to be you. I hope you die, traitor. Doesn't seem like there's more conversation options usually. Now I think I'm gonna go over here. I wanna see what's behind this door. Probably can't open that normally, no. Okay, let's just go into stealth. Oh, it's just an item. So yeah, the way forward is pretty linear. Bundle Jizo statue. Small Buddha effigy bound in red cloth. Raise in prayer between one's palm. Alms to restore a note of resurrective power. To enswathe a Jizo statue is to express feelings of parental love. The bundle of cloth is to at least ensure that the little one goes on in peace. Why would you kill the baby? Why would the baby die? So yeah, there's no way around this. I need to go face that shinobi hunter. Okay. But these guys are coming as well, which is not good. Okay, he doesn't come across the bridge, which is interesting. There we go. Ow. Okay, healing pallets. Got the gourd equipped, because the healing pallet doesn't do much. Oh yeah, his posture just goes down again. Okay. So I need to get across the bridge. Okay, he's... Does an immense amount of damage. Jesus Christ. Come on, buddy. Ah, yeah, and he swiped me again. Okay, I need to do that twice. I have a resurrect. Jesus Christ, he just went through my entire health bar in one go. 
Yeah, I'm not gonna do this right now, am I? One more pallet. Yeah, I'm dead. Ooh. Unseen 8. Half of skill experience and sand are lost upon death, but there is a way to avoid this on rare occasions. Through the unseen aid of gods and Buddha, one may be spared this loss. The chances of receiving unseen aid can be seen in the pause menu. Okay. Okay, back to the hunter. Oh, that guy is also joining the club. I'm gonna heal up. That big guy, yeah, he just needs to die first. Ah, god damn it, he just got me at the end of that. I do really need to avoid that. There we go. Need to be careful. Oh, he got me. But I need to I need to try this out because otherwise. Can it? Oh yeah. Getting stabbed in the face is a way to try that out. He just stabbed me. <laughs> He's so quick. Oh. Oh, what the? I'm back <laughs> at the sculptor. What is happening? I died fully twice now, but it seems like that has more of an effect than I anticipated. So, you're awake. Your death is not your fate. Just yet. <coughs> Rot Essence Sculptor. Somewhere a pained cuff rings out continuously. The man who coughs zealously sculpts statues of Buddha to avoid being consumed by the building flames. Owning this item reduces one's chances of receiving unseen aid. And a timid maid somewhere, a paint cough, oh my god, a coughing and wheezing sounds of an old woman deeply worried about her beloved master. Okay. Dragon rot. The more one with the power of the dragon's heritage dies, the more a sickness known as dragon rot spreads through the world. If one known to wolf is coughing and wheezing, it's likely they are afflicted with dragon rot. The more rot essence wolf has, the lower the chances of receiving unseen aid. So basically... D don't die. <coughs> What's wrong? Dragon rot. The stagnation overflows and spreads. A disease that leads eventually to death. You don't need to worry about me. I'm not normal, you see. It's difficult for me to speak now. Ask Emma about the rest. Okay. So that means we lose access to NPCs when we die? Have you seen the sculptor? That is harsh. Lately? Yes. He's... All I know is what Dogen told me long ago. That the dragon's heritage can bestow the power of resurrection. However, it is not any ordinary power. Repeated use leads to stagnation, which will eventually reach a point where it overflows. This causes those who do not have the power to become sick. A disease known as Dragon Rot. He knew much about it, but even so, he was unable to determine a cure. Forgive me. Is there a way to treat this Dragon Rot? I do not know. However, it must be stopped. I am unsure. But the first step is to look through my mentor's research and see if I can discover a way. Thank you. Okay. 
So she might be able to fix this. But we need to find something. Something, something, MacGuffin. So I'm gonna try at least one more time against that Shinobi Hunter. Okay, here we go again. Dead. Oh, I can actually backstab him. Oh my god. Ah, running. Running. So now I only need to get rid of one bar. That might be interesting. Come on, buddy. I can do this. Right, so that one I need to dodge out of. Oh, that's a sweep. That's a sweep. Let's heal up. That's the one I can actually get rid of. I think I'm gonna swap to the shuriken. Oh, that was a, a swipe I didn't. Ah, oh, and that was again. There's two combos that are just really, really similar. I don't have any pallets. Come on, buddy. That's vitality damage. So his posture is starting to go down less and less quickly. Oh, okay. Ooh. Jumped in time there. Ah, oh, I jumped again. Fuck. So, took a little break. Definitely needed that. And we're still... We're back here, right next to... Well, the Shinobi Hunter. Who's apparently a badass with a spear. Trust attacks are the weakness of a Shinobi. So that's why that sucks. But I think we're... Ooh, just go down. I think I can... Yeah, there we go. So that's the first one. Now we need to just run. Because I think those other two guys will also have... Trigger. And I'm wondering if I can actually use something like the Fistful of Ash. There we go. Or maybe even the Flame Vent. Ah, and that's wrong again. Nope, I was trying to use items, but he does seem to have been affected by that, but... Oh, just heal up again. I blocked that, but apparently not. Okay, resurrect. Oh! Got the Mikiri counter off there. Ah, that was a swipe. Okay, almost had him there. I got this. I got this. Need to be a bit more aggressive. There we go, we got the Mikiri counter off. There we go. Let's heal up. Let's heal again. There we go. Got the fire thing off. Oh, I died. But, still have a resurrection left. Come on, buddy. 
Come on, buddy. Want him to do the big one. Ooh, that's not the big one. Because the big one leaves him wide open. Might as well take pallets. Okay. Yeah, he got fired. He's being scared. Come on, buddy. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ. Come on. Come on. Get him there. Oh, that was my final one. Yeah, there we go. Oh my god. Oh, the prayer bead, another one. We have two now. Oh my god, that was hard as nails. And I can't push on any further now. So I don't know what's behind that gate over there. And I really want to know. Because if that's a boss, I probably just took out the Guardian permanently. Because I got an item from him. But still, this is... What the hell is this guy? There he is. That's one. And then I think I killed the big guy. So if I just hook over there, I can actually just stab this guy in the back as well. So I can at least get the items. There we go, more pallets. And then, oh no, wait, this is not the boss fog. Because there was fog in the way, probably because I needed to kill the hunter. But that's an idol. That is an idol, yes, yes, yes. Thank you very much. Let's sit at that. We finally killed the hunter. Rest at it. So I can actually get my gourds back. And then I can actually acquire some skills, because I have three now again. But I really want to have that Nightjar Slash. So L1 and R1. Let's leap in with a spin and slash at the enemy. So let's acquire that. So that's two points spent there. And then Shinobi Eyes increases the damage inflicted to posture upon executing a successful Mikiru counter. Shinobi's eyes do not follow the blade without anticipating its movement. Remaining composed even when fearful of its sharp edge is the key to victory indeed. Because I needed to stay calm to get that hunter down. I almost didn't. But we managed to do it. So the run and slide. And then we can get yeah three skill points to increase the damage with the Mikiru kan Mikiri counter. I keep saying Mikiru for some reason. And with that I'm going to take a little break. So... Oh, there we go. Combat arts are special attack skills based on the strengths of the fighting style they belong to. Oh, and I need to equip them as well. So, just gonna do that. So the Nightjar Slash. Ooh, that is cool. Is there a restriction? Doesn't seem like it, there is, but there's a quick way to actually cross the distance as well. But uh, with that done, I'm going to take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching. And I hope to see you guys in the next episode of Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. Goodbye.